Hi students, in today's class I am going to tell you the trick for Slater's rule which is nothing but concept of effective nuclear charge. When an electron is present uh, in an orbital of a multi-electron atom, because of the presence of more number of electrons in the same orbit or other orbits, this electron will, uh, will felt less nuclear charge by the nucleus because of uh, more number of electrons. Now we are going to find this effective nuclear charge. What is the reason? Because of the presence of more number of electrons, this will be less uh, shielded by the, uh, less attracted by the nucleus. This uh, effective nuclear charge we can find by using the formula Z minus sigma. Z is nothing but atomic number. Sigma is screening constant. We know atomic number for a particular element. If you find the screening constant, we can say the effective nuclear charge of that particular electron. Suppose if an electron is present in an N shell, its contribution is 0 0.35. This is for S and P electrons. I am telling C students for S and P electrons. If you find the screening constant, its value, its contribution per an electron is 0 0.35 from all other electrons. If the electron is present in the n minus 1, then its contribution is 0 0.85. If it is present in n minus 2 or n minus 3, n minus 4, whatever it is, its value is 1. If the electrons are if we, it means we are going to find for D and F, D or F, then the electron is present in the N, its contribution per an electron is 0 0.35 from all other electrons. N minus 1, N minus 2, N minus 3, remaining all will be 1. Only in the case of D and F, whatever the electron we are going to find, for that electron, uh, for the D only 0 0.35 apart from that remaining all it will be 1. See this one same thing uh, I am giving in the form of tabular column which will be easy for you. SP if the electron is in N its value is 0 0.35 N minus 1 is 0 0.85 remaining N minus 2 or N minus 3 N minus 4 its value will be 1. For D or F orbital for the electron we are going to find for the D or F only its value will be 0.35 remaining all it will be 1. Let us see an example. Lithium atomic number is 3. Electronic configuration 1s2. 2s1. This is n and this is n minus 1. For our simplicity, first what you do is just write the electronic configuration and arrange that electronic configuration basing on the n value. Suppose n value is 1, n value 2, n value 3, n value 4, like that arrange it. Later group that S and P together and D or F separately. D and F separately, S and P together you do it. N value, see here n value is 2. Before shell n minus, n value is 1 means this is n minus 1 shell, this is n shell. Now we want to find the screening constant for S electron. This S electron we are going to find means it contributes nothing. Before this N minus 1 is there in that two electrons are present. If N minus 1, two electrons are there, we are going to find for S or P, its contribution is how much? 0 0.85. So 2 into number of electrons is 2. So 2 into its contribution is 0 0.85. This is sigma value. 2 into 0 0.85, 1.7. Then Z star is equal to Z minus sigma. What is the Z? Z is nothing but atomic number. Lithium atomic number is 3 minus 1.7 is sigma value. 3 minus 
that is 1.3 1.3 is the effective nuclear charge for lithium let us see for boron boron atomic number 5 electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p1 now group it this is first shell again this is second shell in that s and p i group together sigma is equal to now you have to find the effective nuclear charge for p electron we are going to find for p electron so this contributes nothing before that what is there s2 it means two electrons are there in 2s 2 into whenever an electron is present in n shell see here it contributes 0.35 so 2 into 0.35 plus in penultimate shell means before shell n minus 1 shell its value is 0.85 so 2 into 0.85 then 2 into 0.35 is 0.7 0.7 plus 2 into 0.85 8 5 1.7 then it will be 2.4 this is a screening constant now effective nuclear charge is equal to z minus sigma is our formula atomic number is 5 minus screening constant value is 2.4 so 5 minus 2.4 that is 2.6 is the screening constant for boron let us find the screening constant for titanium titanium atomic number 22 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 next 4s2 3d2 I am arranging basing on that. So first I am writing three D two. Next four is two. Now the question is find the screening constant for means effective nuclear charge for d electron. So it contributes nothing. S contributes nothing. We we are going to find for d electron. So one electron we are going to find it contributes nothing. So what is left? One more electron is left, and group it. S P together and D separately. Now, one electron we are going to find. One electron we are going to find. One is left, right? In D, so one into for D or F orbitals, its contribution is zero point three five. For remaining all, only for that electron zero point three five. For remaining all, how many electrons are there? Six plus two eight. Eight plus eight sixteen sixteen plus two eighteen eighteen all electrons contribution is one so zero point three five plus eighteen is eighteen point three five is screening constant value therefore effective nuclear charge is equal to Z minus sigma. What is atomic number of titanium twenty two minus its screening constant is eight point three five. So twenty two minus eight point eighteen point three five is three point six five. Is the effective nuclear charge felt by the titanium? That is the effective nuclear charge which is uh, for the electron in d orbital. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this. Uh, tricks for latest rule please uh, give like and subscribe my channel for getting more updates